you made it. I just got here myself. My contact with the warden should be at the back of the cave. A group of wardens were protecting a villager from corpses, out near Crestwood. They were likely hunting my friend. I'm glad they didn't come looking for people to help in here. They might well be good men, but they've been given bad orders. Solas, the dragon Corypheus commands, could it truly be an archdemon? One assumes that if it were, we would be facing a blight. So what is it then? A corrupted dragon? Simply another darkspawn? It is connected to Corypheus. Such a relation goes beyond mere control. It is a bond. It makes you wonder if that's all the archdemons themselves are. Pets to beings who no longer exist. I would not go as far as that. This dragon is a replica, spawned from a creature who aspires to greatness. No more. It's just us. I brought the Inquisitor. I'm Alistair. It's an honor to meet you, Inquisitor. Though I wish it were someplace a bit nicer. Are you the Alistair who fought the Archdemon with the hero of Ferelden? I need to change my name. Yes, that was me. War, betrayal, dark spawn, all lots of fun. And made for excellent stories, I'm sure. Nobody cares about that anymore. I answer to Warden Commander Clarell now. Like everyone else. I'll take all the help I can get. I know the Wardens have troubles of their own. I wonder, though, might those troubles have anything to do with Corypheus? When Hawk killed Corypheus, the Wardens thought the matter resolved. But Archdemons don't die from simple injury. I feared Corypheus might have the same power, so I... I started to investigate. I found hints, but no proof. And then, not long after, every warden in Orlais began to hear the calling. I recall that being a bad thing. But I don't recall you telling me about all this. It was a secret. A very dangerous one. I tried to actually keep a few of my oaths to the wardens. Is the calling some sort of Grey Warden ritual? Well, Wardens are tied to the Darkspawn. We're connected somehow. And eventually that connection poisons you. You get bad dreams, and then you start to hear the music. It calls to you, quiet at first. And then, so loud, you can't bear it. At that point, you say farewell and go into the deep roads to die fighting. In death, sacrifice. And every Grey Warden in Orlais is hearing that right now. They think they're dying. Yes, I think Corypheus caused this somehow. If all the Wardens die, who will stop the next Blight? That's what has them so terrified. And then they do something desperate. Which is, of course, what Corypheus wants. Is the calling they're hearing real, or is Corypheus mimicking it somehow? I have no idea. Before all this, I'd barely heard of Corypheus. I didn't even know he was supposed to be a magister until I started digging around. Right now, all that matters is the Wardens are acting like they're going to die. You said all the Wardens are hearing the calling. Does that include you? Unfortunately, yes. When I'm talking or fighting, I can almost ignore it. But whenever things are quiet, I can hear it. It's like a song you can't get out of your head. Damned annoying, frankly. 
How can Corypheus make all these wardens hear the calling? I have no idea. I suppose it's part of what he is. Corypheus is tied to the Blight, and not just a product of it like most Darkspawn. Wardens are connected to the Darkspawn too. That's how he seems able to control wardens who get too close to him. And that's likely what he's doing here as well. Somehow. So the Wardens think they're dying and have stopped thinking clearly. That won't go well. I saw what a Blight did to Ferelden. If Wardens hadn't stopped it, there'd be no more Thedas. Warden Commander Clarell proposed some drastic things, blood magic and such, to prevent further Blights before we die. I protested. Maybe too loudly. And Clarell sent guards and... Well, here I am. Wardens were gathering here, in the Western Approach. It's an old Tevinter ritual tower. I'm going to investigate. I could use some help. Let's go. I heard what he said. Hopefully we'll find some answers in the Western Approach. Though I fear what those answers will be. I've seen too much blood magic to ever trust where it leads. We should get to that ritual tower in the Western Approach. Ideally before it lives up to its name. Was the hero of Ferelden involved in all this? I'm not sure. After we defeated the Archdemon, she was made Warden Commander of Ferelden. She disappeared some time ago. Not long before I started investigating rumors of Corypheus. She may have joined the Orlesian Wardens after I had to flee. If so, hopefully she'll be on our side. But I wouldn't count on it. When we fought the Archdemon, she did things that... She walks a dark path. Corypheus was held in a Warden prison, right? So the Wardens should know all about him. You'd think the Wardens would share information with each other, but they're really big on keeping secrets. Maybe they think some knowledge is too dangerous, I don't know. I only found out about Corypheus after I started digging for information. Even then, it wasn't much. For most Wardens, he'd be nothing more than an old legend dead long ago. If they knew of him at all. You were there, weren't you? You helped fight the Archdemon. I'm going to be answering that question for the rest of my life. Yes, I was there. It was big. The hero of Ferelden was brave. <laughs> but that was ten years ago. What have you done for us lately, Anastair? New times. New problems. What's it like, being a warden? Oh, it's wonderful. You get fresh peaches delivered every morning, first choice of local village girls, and bunnies too. Well, maybe it's not that. Not even close to that. I watched my brothers die at Ostagar soon after I joined. I never thought I'd see Wardens kill themselves. Why were the Wardens trying to kill you? When Clarell started talking blood magic and demons to deal with the calling, I said it wasn't a good idea. First, it was awkward silences some coughing. But when I mentioned Corypheus, things really went wild. The Warden Mages said I was interfering. Called me a traitor. Funny how often that happens to me. You mentioned Warden Commander Clarell. Is she behind this? She's the one who summoned me and the other Wardens to Orlay when we started hearing the calling. I don't know her well. She's a mage. Smart. Careful. Determined. The Swords of Mage the Templars told me to keep a close watch over. Makes her the best kind of Warden. Or at least I would have thought so. Maybe the Templars aren't wrong about everything. Do you think she's helping Corypheus willingly? Or was she duped? Clarell would never serve something that looks like a Darkspawn willingly. I heard about an advisor of some kind. Maybe we'll learn more at the Western Approach. We'll talk later. 